When I walked out to the shop Friday, I was pleasantly surprised to see the guys were getting ready to start painting. Jeremy had brought donuts and they were already busy covering everything up in the shop so that we don't get overspray on anything important. Kenny had carefully covered up Tommy's S10, my workbench, my new workbench, and all my monster trucks to protect them from the wrath of Jeremy's body dust and overspray. Jeremy was getting ready to paint the inside of the cab. And while he prepares that, Kenny starts working on putting a new rear bumper on the back of the truck. With the help of the dogs, of course. Finally, it feels like we're making progress on this thing and things are really starting to look up until Jeremy runs out of primer. What are you requesting? Go get my You wanted primer in a spray can. The same stuff you just gave me about, now you want some of it. That's because I'm only doing door panels with it, not the whole entire panel. Now, it's not every day that I get an opportunity to work with Jeremy where he's in a hurry. <laughs> it's usually quite the opposite. So me and the dogs jump into Malibu and we head down to Mark's to go get some more primer in spray cans. At least this gives me an opportunity to drive the Malibu one more time before this terrible weather comes in that they're calling for Saturday and Sunday. When I got down to Mark's, he was astonished that I'd left Jeremy unattended. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, yeah, because... Is that you how you treat happening? one of your best customers? You know what's happening over at your shop. What? You Jeremy's starting to spray, spray product. You right. You need to be there. I'm yeah, but Jeremy sent me down here for primer in cans. Oh, After what, that what? ration of shit that he gave me for using spray what's can primer... <laughs> He sends me back down here for four cans of that stuff. I don't know why you even questioned our, you know, judgment. I don't know I don't why know. I deal with him. I don't either. While I was busy picking up primer at Mark, someone snuck in the shop while I wasn't looking. What are you doing? I've uh, come over here to get my S10 so we can work on the exhaust. Hey. Get the exhaust back out the fenders like it's supposed to be. So while I'm on my way back from Mark's, Billy and Kenny start unloading his S10 out in the driveway to fire it up and load it on the open trailer to take it back to Billy's shop so they can work on putting the exhaust back through the fenders with bullhorns like it used to be. So I hand off the four cans of primer to Jeremy just about the time that Vicky shows up. It's Friday and she gets lunch for everybody on Fridays. Brewster's chicken and pulled pork from City Barbecue. Well, well, well. So everybody got a little something to eat before we got busy painting the inside of this truck. Jeremy just had a little bit of finished prep work to do before he mixed up the paint, put it in the gun, and started spraying color. As it turns out, Jeremy didn't quite have a handle on the gun settings or the paint mixture right off the bat. We'll get to how this turns out later. As things are quickly falling apart out in our makeshift paint booth, Vicky shows up after a shopping spree. The temperature has dropped like 30 degrees. It's windy and cold. What in the heck is that? P.O. Box. I got, you got something in the mail. Oh, I Number forgot one. about P.O. Boxes. Yes. So, it's been like a month. No, no, this one's only been there about a week, but. Oh. What's so, that? I went to Sam's Club because I needed a shelf, another shelf, just like the ones on the wall. Yeah. For my stuff. Right. Look what Sam's Club had. <laughs> How could I not leave? Without it, look, you push the button, it lights up. Look, the headlights oh light up. Oh my goodness. It's Where are you got... gonna put that at? Out in the flower bed? No, in here. Oh, no, no, yes. no, no. Listen, Top listen, listen. No, 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 no. On my side of Wait the a minute, hold up. What? Hold the press. You're upset and shabby, look. <laughs> She's trying to calm Look, down. this is my shop. I know, but this is I'm my doing YouTube a lot of work channel. Over here on this Yesterday, side. it was, I'm just gonna sell glittery stuff. And now, I'm gonna decorate out here. Oh <laughs> no, I've got to put my foot down with this part. Look at the little plaid covering in the bed of the truck. 
and the headlights light up. It's mint green. They have them in red and white. And they even have little campers, mint green campers that you could buy as an attachment too. Like I stopped myself with that, but $39.99 and your wife can be- $39.99? <laughs> it's a bargain. So Kenny just built you new workbench and shelf space over there, right? Yeah, and, and I look, wanted to put my what? Look, see how that shelf that you've got the drone on there? Yeah. I think that's the perfect spot for that little light up truck. No, that's my that's where I keep my drone. <laughs> you can put them over there on the new shelf. You got to be shitting me. You're just I'm like not... moving in. I'm just Calm down. <laughs> This is how it starts. I give you an inch and you take a mile. What? Bill Bybee. Bill Bybee lives here. My helper. Every time we do events that are local and I have a helper, he bakes for us. <sighs> well, you remember yesterday when I said I wanted to take the opportunity to drive the Malibu before this weather came in? Well, the weather came in. But there's a bright side. I got a call last night from Tyler Kearns, my buddy that does lettering. Guess who shows up today? I asked Tyler, the next time you're in the area, I'd like to get my wheels pinstriped. Tyler is the guy who was here not too long ago and did all the hand lettering on the doors and the bedside and the tailgate. Tyler did an excellent job. But at the time, we didn't have the correct wheels on the truck but now we do. Tyler wastes no time in setting up shop and getting busy. And it's incredible what a little bit of pinstriping can do to make the wheels really pop. And the only thing better than one color is two colors of pinstriping. Tyler used his bugle tool to lay the cream color out and then went back and did the orangish red color by hand. They look absolutely beautiful. Subtle, but a nice little pop of color that matches all the other pop of color. When I told Vicki I wanted to do both colors, she wasn't sure about it. But after seeing it, she agreed it was the right thing to do. How you guys doing? We're back at Bill's today. We pinstriped his wheels red and ivory. My name is Tyler Kearns from Red Bone Customs, Parksville, Ohio, 937-728. 2603 and we do lettering and pinstriping and airbrush work and today we did build wheels for Vicky's truck. So we were at a high point for the day until Melvin Frederick shows up out of the blue. I had no idea that Kenny Powers had made arrangements for him to come in and detail Harley Suburban today. So I shove the C10 outside and we bring in the Suburban for Melvin to detail. Now the Suburban didn't look too bad to begin with, but once Melvin got out his steam doucher, you could clearly tell how dirty it really was. Melvin Frederick once again knocks it out of the park. Well, well, well. Yeah, 10 pounds of shit in a five pound sack. If you look around, there's enough stuff to... Yeah, you've made, you've made quite a mess here in my shop already. Okay. So, how does this one compare to Billy's? Wait till you see the video on what came out of Billy's. You detailed Billy's shit wagon Silverado. Well, the shit wagon came in with, uh, with, with one working headlight. Uh, the exhaust was falling off of it. Well, that's why we call it the shit wagon. The shit wagon. And uh, it looks like the Exxon Valdez was taken out of that thing. What are you talking about? It was that much gunk. All right, let's show the people track. what you extracted so this is not nearly as bad as the shit wagon. No, Kenny Powers' ride is like brand new compared to Billy's shit wagon. So, but we're working, we're changing shocks on Kenny's shit wagon, this, this Suburban while we're working on no, it. No, we're, we're not. Detail. Yeah, we are. Who says? I don't know. Jacked up. Kenny's doing something to it. Is that true? Yeah. Shocks. What? Shocks and detail today. Holy shit, I'll never get my truck done. I'll never get back in the shop today. Oh my God. Yo, who? Mm -hmm. I've been hijacked. Vicky's working on hijacking half the shop, and you turkeys are doing well, the other half. You miss it all the time that I used to spend over here. With no, you. that was the best time of our life. <laughs> of yours? I thought about becoming an excavator because of you. <laughs> then I became a cop. 
don't know why. Yeah, got fired. Yeah, I got fired. Reinstated. Got fired? And then, Didn't you fire me too? I fired you once or twice. And got rehired each time. Oh, God. You've earned yourself a Mountain Dew, a cookie. And a hat. And a hat. Not only just any hat. Old man's garage hat. It looks good on you. It looks like you aged 10 years putting that hat on. Good God. Well, the truck's back in the shop. It's time for me to get my money's worth out of you. You're eating me out of house and home while you're here. Yeah, it's in the contract. Contract? Well, Friday's lunch carried over into Saturday's leftovers, so. Explain to the people why we are on day two of painting the interior of Vicky's truck. I am assuming that you have your list of excuses at the ready because yesterday was a fiasco. Well, we have a Jippy Skippy gun that works now. You Well, I mean, to be honest, you only got one run in it yesterday. It just went around the inside of the cab 10 times. Yeah. So yesterday didn't quite go as planned. First, Jeremy struggled to get the paint mix just right because it wouldn't hardly even come out of the gun. It looked like a hammer tone finish at first. Then, once he got the paint mixed just right, he had a little trouble with uh, running the paint. So, today he came in, sanded down all the runs, and we prepare to start over. And hopefully today goes a little bit better than yesterday, because we are running way behind on getting this truck done. I really want to get this interior put back together as quickly as possible and get a windshield in it so that we can start working on some other projects. Now, we aren't professional body shop guys, right? And Jeremy doesn't paint every day. In fact, I think this might be the first time he's ever painted with a gun. So, if you see things that we're doing wrong, you should expect it. Because we are definitely not professionals. Now, Kenny wanted to have a little time with a gun himself. So, after Jeremy got done painting the interior, Kenny got a hold of the gun, primered, and painted the gas tank. And it turned out pretty good, to be honest with you. Now, the interior didn't turn out too bad today. I'm pretty happy with the results. This is going to work out okay. Now, finally, we can paint the top and start putting the interior back together. All right, Uncle Bucko. Good job today. Good oh, job today. Can we get a compliment? <laughs> <What's> wrong. <laughs> All right, so my question is, when can we paint the top? Monday. Monday? Yeah, Monday. Why can't we paint the top tomorrow? You gotta let the shit cure. What? I can't be sticking tape to fresh paint and then peeling it off and then having to It's already it. dry. It's not cured yet. There's a cure time. Oh. Did you, did you read the, the can? There's a thing called instructions. Oh, you read the instructions? Well, you kind of got to with paint and body. It doesn't just blow and go. This isn't Mexico. Listen, it's dry. I was already out there. I touched everything. It's dry. Yeah. Let's top. just let's just go ahead and paint the top tomorrow. Let's not say we did. <sighs> and we can paint it Monday. All right, everybody, welcome back. So today turned out to be a pretty decent day, although it started out, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we had planned on being here earlier today uh, to get started before Tyler showed up to do the wheels. However, this crap weather that rolled in uh, really upset Mark uh, to get to the parts store this morning and uh, he was traveling through adverse weather. Let's just say that. So, uh, and I think Jeremy was running a little bit late this morning anyway, so it wasn't no a big deal. But um, Tyler actually showed up early. Uh, I wasn't expecting him until later in the afternoon. So everything was just kind of jumbled up and screwed up this morning. And uh, so, but it worked out. Tyler did a fantastic job on these wheels. They look perfect. It was exactly the look I was looking for. And I'm so happy 
I'm even happier that Vicki likes it because I wasn't sure how she was going to react to it. But it turns out she really likes it after she sees it. Uh, then uh, I had no idea that Melvin was going to be here today or that Kenny had set up an appointment for him to detail Kenny's Suburban. And it's so freaking cold outside. There's no way that Derek could have done that out in the driveway. So we shove the truck out. We shove the Suburban in. We detail the Suburban. And then when Jeremy first started painting the interior parts, it wasn't going so well. So I couldn't watch. I let Kenny film and I went in the house. I said, I can't be out here for another day of this. But uh, Kenny and Jeremy actually did a really good job filming and painting and the interior of the truck looks great. It's not professional, it's not mint, it's not show quality, but we weren't looking for that. We're not professionals. This is not what we do generally is paint and body work, but we're hacking our way through it as best we can. And it's turned out really nice. To be honest with you, I'm very happy with it. It's a semi-gloss finish. Uh, I didn't really want it to be a gloss finish uh, because a gloss finish will show every imperfection. And there's a lot of imperfections. But Jeremy did a really nice job on the body work on that dash where he cut the dash out and fixed where someone had hacked the dash up for a stereo. Uh, I plan on putting a stock style stereo back in there but I'm gonna try and find one with Bluetooth capability or at least uh, an auxiliary port so that we can play music off the phone. And Uncle Terry has got my vintage air conditioning ordered. I don't know when that's gonna be in, but hopefully soon. Uh, I think it's gonna be maybe three weeks before I get that, but that's okay. We don't need air conditioning anytime soon. Uh, the weather's getting pretty nice around here, except for right now, it's terrible. It's like in the 20s outside wind blowing and snow and but that stuff's supposed to be out of here uh, by the beginning of the week and it's supposed to, it's supposed to start getting nice again of course now there's salt all over the roads so that sucks but hopefully it won't take too long for the rain to come and wash that stuff away and we can get back to running around the malibu and maybe get the 55 chevy out and uh start gearing up for spring because this recent spell of good weather really had me revved up. I mean, I was working in the driveway and we're working on hot rods and cruising around and, you know, everything's still dingy and dead looking outside. It hasn't started to green up yet, of course, but spring's right around the corner. And tonight is the uh, night that we set the clocks. Let's see, spring forward. So we set the clocks forward. So it's going to start staying uh, bright out in the evenings, it's going to start staying daylight longer in the afternoon and the evening. So that's good news. I'm excited. Like spring is here. It's finally happening. Winters are hard up here in Ohio. I'm telling you, they're hard for me because it just, it's cold and nasty and everything looks dead and it's just crappy, but it is nice having a little bit of a, a break from racing, a little downtime, a little time to just focus on working in the shop and getting some projects done in the shop that if it was nice out, we would never stop to do. So it is what it is, but tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm not sure what we're going to get into tomorrow, but it's hard to tell.